This is Mark Dolly. I'm going to present curvilinear motion. And our problem today is, given the initial and final position, find the minimum initial velocity required for a person to jump from point A to point B. And we have our diagram over here, which shows rooftop A, rooftop B, the origin at 0, 0. The initial velocity designated by the vector V sub naught we have our angle theta, we have our velocity in the y direction, and we have our velocity in the x direction. We're also given the gap to clear is 1.8 meters wide and 1.4 meters high. And so I know that a change in theta will result in a change in the initial velocity uh, because the initial and final positions are constant. If those change, then the same, if, if B went up, you'd have, to, you'd have to be going a little bit faster. If B went down, you could do it a little slower, but it's not. B is staying where it's at. So we use the kinematic equations derived from the horizontal and vertical motion to relate VO to theta. And we're going to do that by substitution. We're going we're gonna to try and get T and VX and VY. We're going to try to get all those out of there. And then we're going to find we're going to find theta when the velocity is minimized by using the first derivative test. When when the first derivative equals zero, the line tangent to the velocity versus angle curve is horizontal, indicating the max or min value of the curve. And so dv d theta is the slope of the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line equals zero when VO is at a minimum. You see that right here in our angle, in our velocity versus angle graph. Um, the line's horizontal and we're at a minimum velocity. And so in, in order to relate um, the velocity and theta, we need to solve for T in the horizontal and substitute the result in for T in the vertical direction. And a lot of um, projectile motion, curvilinear motion problems, they end up solving for t in the horizontal and plugging in for t in the vertical. And so it's just some simple algebra here. Uh, we're doing a couple substitutions. We're substituting in for vx from, from up here. We know that vx equals vo cosine theta and solving for t. And then over on this side, we're substituting in vy up here in the, in the top there. vy is vo sine theta, and again, that's by trigonometry of our, of our vector, vy, vx, vo. And so we, we, we just make that substitution, and we substitute in 0 for the final y position. And that's because of the way that I've set up my axes with 0, 0 at, at the point. Um, basically, the y coordinate is 0 at the point B. So our final position is 0. It's going to simplify our algebra. And so we need to simplify the expression in order to take the derivative of the initial velocity in terms of theta. And we simplify it here. I just bring the whole term with velocity over, and then I multiply both sides by the cosine of theta, and there's what I get. And so find the find dv d theta by implicit differentiation, and set dv d theta equal to zero to solve for theta when velocity is at a max or min. And that goes back to, it's going to look something like this, dv d theta is the slope of the tangent line of the velocity versus angle graph. And so <clears throat> in order to differentiate, I, I have to use the power rule. And that's shown, um, that's shown here. I have, um, say, negative 1 over VO squared. And that equals 2 times VO to the negative third. And um, and for an angle, it's a little bit different. We take the derivative of cosine squared. We get negative 2 cosine theta sine theta. And the product rule 
sine theta, cosine theta comes out cosine squared minus sine squared theta. And so once we once we have that, we can make our substitution, and we can solve for theta because now v is out of there. You see our derivative here. As soon as we as soon as we substitute in zero for dv d theta, that whole ax squared over v o three goes out. It's equal to zero. So all we're left with is is what you can see here. The x x in the fi final x position times cosine squared minus sine squared theta minus the initial y position times two cosine theta sine theta and using our trig our trig identities we can make these substitutions so we can solve for theta and our trig identities are two cosine theta sine theta equals sine of two theta and Cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta equals cosine of two theta. And so making those substitutions, we go back over and, and we can see that the, um, <coughs> basically just going through the algebra here, we set up, we take, take one term and set it equal to the other. Um, we, we're going to divide by cosine of 2 theta. So we have the tangent of 2 theta equals the <coughs> final x position over the initial y position. And we have the angle at, at minimum velocity is 26.06 degrees. And once we have that, <coughs> we, substitute, we substitute the value obtained for theta into the equation relating initial velocity and theta. And so we go. We, I write the. I wrote the equation down again before we took the derivative. And here it is here. And I just solved for uh, for V L. And I came up with the initial velocity is going to equal 2.94 meters per second at 26 degrees above the x position.